All right, good morning, Richmond. It's Pastor Doug here this morning. This is the last day that I am in Terra Vieja, Terra Vieja, Terra Vieja, uh, Spain, uh, which is about 40 minutes outside of Alicante. And uh, it's just been a tremendous week. Saw really the, the birthing of a new church. Uh, Pastor Roman Sieta moved here a number of months ago and uh, began a church here, started out sort of like a little small life group. And they've grown to about 35 or 40 people. And uh, so this weekend, on Sunday, Pastor Oleg Savage and myself uh, laid hands on them, installed them in, commissioned them as pastors of Love and Healing Church of uh, uh, Terra Vieja, and uh, lots of just celebration, people very, very happy. Uh, it's been a great week. They had a, this weekend a little church conference and had a number of churches from uh, around uh, the area to come and it was very positive uh, both oleg and myself spoke a lot on vision on uh, the dreams that god had for them how to walk out of those dreams one of the messages that i shared on was uh the journey of your dream and what that looks like and it not, not the journey of your dream sometimes doesn't look like your dream and uh, how to uh, how to press through during those times. So it was a very good weekend. Uh, ministered to a lot of people. People so hungry for the things of God. Uh, two young men were able to pray with them for salvation, and uh, just a great moment in that, of course. And um, and then prayed for a number of people prophetically. Uh, people are always hungry for the prophetic, of course. And that was a joy to do that, uh, be able to do that in the church, outside of the church, on the streets, number of places where God gave the opportunity for that to happen. Um, and so I'm actually on, I'm on the rooftop of uh, Pastor Roman and Sieta's house here. Very pretty outside. It's uh, beautiful today. Uh, the last th probably three days we've had uh, a good bit of rain and but uh today's just beautiful and so um also um a couple miracles that happened uh which was truly wonderful um one uh prayed for a young man that was uh had lost most of his sight in one eye and uh and prayed for him several times and he had significant improvement probably he said up to 70 80 percent uh, that he could see clearly, uh, where the, he could barely see before. So that was just wonderful for that. And then prayed for uh, a couple of women, one uh, with a backache, and God almost immediately healed her. And uh, she was <laughs> she was dancing all over the church. It was so cool. And then another lady who had one of the most severe cases of scoliosis of the spine, curvature of the spine that I have ever seen. and um, And it caused because of the curvature, it caused one leg to be about almost two inches shorter than the other one. Of course, you walk with a significant limp. And so what was so neat is as we prayed, uh, right now we did not see a lot of change in the curvature, but as we prayed, um, her leg grew out about two inches. And uh, uh, many times as we pray for people in those situations, it's a very gradual type thing. This one, uh, I mean, we both saw it. it. It popped out about two inches all at once. It was amazing. And, uh, and so, uh, so what was amazing, even though her back was uh, seemingly from the side, but we know that God is working in her back. I believe that she was able to walk evenly, no limp. Both legs were exactly the same length. And so she was, uh, she was very, very, excited of course 
and um, and so so we uh, yesterday went prayed for a little girl that had double pneumonia fever as we prayed I could just sense her fever immediately going down and uh, did not have not got a report yet this morning from her mama but uh, believing that she's she's healed of course and so it's it's been a it's been a great week and thank you so much for all your prayers I have surely needed them felt them and um, and it's been uh, it's been really really great you know we're getting ready to head on to Ukraine today uh, as our conference will begin on Thursday morning and uh, many people from every nation ministries will be there of course and uh, should be a great weekend believing for a lot of wonderful things to happen I miss you all very very much and I look forward to seeing you soon and uh, thank you so much uh, for the prayers that I know that have been going on both for Cindy myself and the children uh, it really is uh, very uh, very grateful I want to thank you so much and I love you all very much and I look forward to seeing you here in a couple of weeks okay alrighty God bless now bye bye